100 today, but it's hot nonetheless. Let's see. Let's ask everybody in the newsroom. Is there are there any complaints it didn't reach 100? Uh, no, 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 no. We'll go ahead and do it tomorrow, though. Oh, well, thanks right. so much for that. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Great, Dan. <laughs> it's been a hot summer and there's no changing the facts across the country. Everybody is suffering, even those in Utah. Now we have some severe thunderstorms to talk about. Let's go right down here into the Blanding area and from Dark Canyon Wilderness to the Natural Bridges and LaSalle Mountains, some very strong thunderstorms. These are capable of producing flash floods, so be careful. There's also another area of, well, let's get a little bit closer and you can see 267 lightning strikes in the last 30 minutes. Now, we have another area of concern. This is coming off of and near the Loa area. Showers and thunderstorms, some locally heavy, could produce some flash flooding. They seem to be dying down a little bit. Over the Uinta Basin, a line of thunderstorms reaching out towards Diamond Mountain and over towards Oak, uh, the Creek, Oak Creek Reservoir, and also right around the Moon Lake area. Big bad thunderstorms, big heavy rains here in the Uintas. 108 degrees. Hard to believe one part of the state can be raining probably in the 40s in the Uintas right now. 108 in St. George, 12% humidity, 92 in Ogden. And we love you Salt Lake, you're 96, not that 103 we had yesterday, but a lot of clouds kind of streaming in and it is a bit smoky out there. 20% is the relative humidity, which is, well, we can live with that, okay? It's not too bad. All right, forecast maps for tonight. Those showers and thunderstorms will diminish. We have a cold front coming in and by Friday 5 p.m. Look at the position of this cold front. Here's where the tropical moisture is. It's going to pull that moisture north so we'll have south winds. That means any fires that are burning, we're going to see that wind pick up. So there'll probably be fire wind advisories and uh, just some real problems. The cold front comes in right at the time of the day. We could have some severe thunderstorms along and near the cold front. Then it will move by. Skies will begin to clear. Showers will end Saturday morning and by Saturday afternoon, most of the showers will be confined to southern Utah at least for a day. So we get Saturday afternoon and Sunday here in Salt Lake City look like pretty good days. Winds are light for the most part. 14 miles per hour in Evanston. Gusts are 22 in Salt Lake. Evanston 18. Vernal with those thunderstorms, 33 miles per hour. 71 overnight with some late night possible thunderstorms. If anything, a microburst wind or two, but a better chance starting quiet in the morning, but in the afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms, some potentially severe with hail, very strong gusty microburst winds, etc. Showers and thunderstorms diminishing 67 price, 58 degrees in Richfield, 81 in St. George. Still 108 tomorrow with Thunderstorms around in the mountains. Southern Utah could see those flash floods. We have to watch that carefully. And again, in the north, potential for some severe weather in the afternoon. Another 108 tomorrow, and then a 106, 105. We'll see a decrease in thunderstorms, and then by Sunday, Monday, a little bit of an increase. In the north, one more day of a 100. Showers and thunderstorms again, potentially bringing the garbage cans. We're talking about those kinds of winds. Uh, 97 with some showers early Saturday going away quickly. Most of the weekend looks good. A little more thunder Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So Saturday night even in the mountains, okay, clear? Right now it looks good. Uh, Saturday night and Sunday look relatively good, just Saturday morning. All right, thanks for that, Dan. Yeah, you're welcome.